and turf. It's a classic meal. It's perfect for Valentine's so Day. So romantic, oh, right? Yeah. We have Herb Shatless from Bonefish Grill in St. Louis Park here today to prepare this. You've got the dish, you've mm -hmm. got a dessert, and the whole deal ready to go. Thanks for, Thanks for coming us. in. Well, thank you. What is it about surf and turf, you think? It's just, it's such a luxury, I think. You know, I think exactly that. You know, mm. it's the, the time of year, Valentine's week. It's uh, that romantic uh, dish that uh, you like to share. And I think lobster is uh, something you don't cook at home often. So sure. it's, oh. it's romantic. You get it when you get out. And yeah. Well, people are afraid that lobster is going to scream when you put it in the pot. Well, and they do. Yeah. They, they do They not. absolutely <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Brian, uh, half of a lobster here for us. You're going to... That's we have our lobster tails, which I think oh. are a little... Easier to cook for uh, for the home cook opposed to cooking a whole lobster. Uh, so Bonefish Grill, we have our twin tail on our menu. Um, it's a five to six ounce lobster tail that's uh, easy enough to do at home. Uh, you can just do it in a pan and uh, steam it. Uh, for Valentine's Day for at Bonefish Grill, we're having our um, combo. So we have a mm -hmm. lobster stuffed shrimp. So we have our lobster stuffing inside shrimp paired with a filet mignon, and then you can also have that lobster stuffed shrimp wow. as an entree. Um, chocolate, of course, for the romantic season. So we have our chocolate creme brulee topped with a little bit of grand marnier. That is and beauty our right there. Seared scallops wrapped in bacon with a little mango salsa appetizer. Valentine's Day this year for the restaurant has to be great, right? When it falls on a Sunday because perfect. people come out Friday, Saturday, and exactly. Sunday. Exactly. Are you booked? Storm. It's a perfect storm, exactly. <laughs> Plus, it's a Monday holiday. So it's, 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 it's are, you bu are you booked up yet, or there's still room for people? Uh, you know, there's still up? a couple. Yeah. Um, you know, we always have a couple cancellations and a couple pickups. So, um, All so right, don't guys. hesitate to still call and get your reservation <laughs> in, um, but uh, they are filling up fast. Let's talk about lobster tail because I think it's such a beautiful dish. Mm -hmm. what, what, what kind of advice do you have people who might want to try, try to make it at home? Well, you can buy your lobster tails from most of your uh, yeah, you grocery see stores. Yeah. Uh, you could even have your uh, grocery store um, kind of pull the meat up for you. So, whereas the lobster tail, of course, is inside. Because that's quite pretty, this presentation. So that here. presentation, if you ask most of your lobster, your purveyors, they'll actually pull that meat up for you. Oh, yeah. It's really not hard to do. Here, right? hold that up for the camera yeah, there. Absolutely. So we can see that better. So that's and what it they'll looks pull like it up. The meat's on top. The meat's on top. Okay. So what they're doing, you're just cutting the shell and just mm -hmm. kind of pulling the meat up. Pull it's it really up. not hard to do. It, and then you steam so, it usually. And then yeah, what we do is we just that's have a nice it. bed of water. So well, it didn't, and then for it about didn't a scream, Kai. Kind of, I didn't hear a scream. Well, its head's chopped off. <laughs> Jeez, Jason. The screaming is already. Happened. So what we'll yes. do for that size tail, for about a six ounce tail, you're looking about four to five minutes. Um, you can season it with and a little that's it. seasoning. That's do really people tend to over-steam or overcook? I think that's the, the hardest thing. You know, if yeah. you over-steam it, it tends to get hard. And, and it's expensive rubbery. to buy. You don't want to yeah. mess it up. No. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that, um, you don't want to mess it up in front of your date? That would be embarrassing. <laughs> this and is the true. shell, the shell turns nice right, uh, bright red. As so you that's see, how you it starts, know. You know, yep, once it turns that bright red, um, it's done. And then for, for seasoning, I mean, you can just do the butter and that's... And you're good to go? Yep. You know, when I'll season it, we'll do. you'll see a little of the brown. And we put a little bit of that Old Bay seasoning sure. on top oh, yeah. as you're steaming it. Uh, pair with a little butter, nice filet. Asparagus goes great with it. So, it is. It's a great time of year for that. You get the asparagus. You get a lot of spinach out here, ready to go. So, very nice. Romance in the air over at the Bonefish Grill. Yeah. Huh? We're gonna see you there. Oh, maybe. Well, you said there's. Uh, I got a couple more reservations yeah. available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or puts us on the spot, ready to go. Well, you have some of these recipes at WCCO.com. We do. I, is the creme brulee on there? I'm pretty sure okay, it is. Oh, I, good. I think I, maybe I'll make that for my wife. We that have a little torch very at home. Sweet. Yep, it's perfect. That's the fun. Of course, you have a torch at home. I love that. It's a That's a kitchen so cool. torch. It makes you feel very powerful. I bet it. Does. <laughs> Alyssa, my, my kids very love lucky. it. A little sugar yeah. on top. Uh, <laughs> you can caramelize just about anything with that. That's a good time. Thanks, everybody.